for the first time in more than 60 years, Republicans have control of the state house. And today we got a glimpse of what they want to do with that power. But as News 13's Alex Goldsmith shows you, getting their ideas to the governor's desk won't be easy. Just hours after lawmakers could start filing bills for the January session, Republican Rep Paul Pacheco reintroduced one of Governor Susana Martinez's top priorities, doing away with driver's licenses for illegal immigrants. This issue is a public safety issue. It's an idea that's died on the vine the past four years, but... The fact that uh, we have a change of power in the House is going to help. A flood of new Republican reps won in November, enough for the GOP to control the House for the first time since 1954. That means other top Republican proposals like holding back third graders who don't read well enough and making New Mexico a right to work state will almost certainly move forward. Steve Terrell covers the roundhouse for the Santa Fe New Mexican. They're going to get a lot of the things out of the House that haven't gotten out of the House before. The problem for Republicans won't be getting things out of the House. It'll be getting bills past Democrats in the Senate. We're going to uh, be faced with a number of bills that have been pent up over 60 years, um, and we're going to take every one of them seriously. Although Democrats still hold a 25 to 17 edge in the Senate, a small group of more conservative Dems could flip and vote with the GOP. Terrell says keep an eye on Deming's John Arthur Smith, Las Cruces's Mary Kay Papin, Gallup's George Munoz, and Clemente Sanchez of Grants. I think it's going to be close. Because of that, leaders in both parties are talking about working together. You know, the name of the game is compromise, and uh, we plan on working across the aisle. We're going to le have to learn, you know, to work together here. Easier said than done. Alex Goldsmith, KRQE News 13. Political watchers say a compromise could come up on an issue like minimum wage. The governor's previously supported raising it, but by a much smaller amount than Democrats want. The session starts January 20th.